Hello everyone and welcome back to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The weekend has finally arrived, the weather's cooled down so I'm not dying at every moment, and today I am going to finish this game, in this, in this session no less. I'm very excited. So, in the last part we, uh, we found the library over this way, uh, and then I bitched out and went to find a camp because I didn't have enough time to explore it, so... <laughs> Today, we are going to start off by heading straight back in and figuring out what the fuck's going on in here. Sup, Jonah? Right, let's have a let's have a proper nose around, shall we? It's got to be something to do with the paintings on the walls. Let's see what other prompts we can find. I'll wait to go upstairs. We'll do that after we've had a good look around down here. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. 25th of December, 1603. It has been four days since we turned away I'm from I'm not the sure city. if we're finding these in order. We travelled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, <laughs> as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange world. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember them talking about that the journey, when they were trying to open the door and Perez I might, I sacrificed himself him. to hold so them I off. Built a fire and waited as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. All right, bit of a nut job. Okay. Can I? There we go. <laughs> wow, insightful commentary, Lara. Thank you. This looks like it should be a thing, but I can't interact with it quite yet. I feel like I will be able to at some point. Hello. Oh, yeah, we also uh, upgraded all of our shit at the end, so I can now pick up a load of stuff again, which is nice. And under his wings you may seek refuge under his wings and under his wings oh okay it says the same thing again i was like why is it letting me click it again oh under his wings okay anyone know what the fuck that means <laughs> start for 10 no idea do 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 Alright. I thought we were going to be investigating this wall, not fucking destroying it, but... Okay then. <laughs> this cross. It looks like it's from the 17th century. Anything else in here? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> what about around here then? This looks like a thing. Oh, or this. Oh, right. It's a journal. The door closed and a silence settled. So great and so vast, I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment, fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room. Walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. Man, I'm really excited to find this fucking box. We better actually find it. We better find it. I mean, there's no way we don't, right? I really want to see what power it has. I mean, at the end of the first game, we found the immortal queen, the immortal empress. At the end of the second game, we found the elixir of immortality, or whatever the fuck it was. It was the... I think it was a stone. It was like some glowing blue stone or something. can't quite remember. But I've got to assume that we'll follow that pattern. And uh, we will find... I don't have enough space for that. All full up. We will find the... Uh... The silver box. Hello? 
Got a lot of fucking journal pages around here, hey? 26th of December, 1603. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan This is This Sparta. is where we to eat, he said. A cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution. How he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said. Pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. An adobe we building? The Big Photoshop symbol on the follow. side? For only he who does will be worthy of this box. Not gonna lie, never heard of an adobe building. The only, the only adobe I know is the fucking company that decided that no, you can't buy their products for a one-time fee anymore. You must subscribe to their products. Jonah, and pay them every month. This book describes so I cannot afford Adobe mission. products. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. Man, would it be nice to be able to have Photoshop and fucking... What's the uh, editing one called? Uh, I can't remember. But no, because it's like fucking 40 quid a month or something. Excuse me, what, Adobe? Do you think you're that fucking good, mate? I mean, they are supposed to be pretty good, but not that fucking expensive. Jesus Christ. John, son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the beloved disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, Sons of Thunder. Thor John and Loki. John credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the three epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He's the patron saint Gave up using his own name for the third one, did he? As well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. Hmm. Interesting. Lots of fucking lore and shit in this room. Like, more in this small area than there has been in the rest of the game, I think. Oh. She started walking slowly. I was like, what's that? The sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes... The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does this mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. Find the heron and the eclipse. Well, that's just downstairs, isn't it? <laughs> we already found it, Lara. Use your brain, lass. This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. Hmm, this looks like a thing I could carve away at, but maybe not. Um, about through here then. Got to explore as much as possible. Get all of the tidbits of information. Here we go. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. Have we heard of de la Cruz before? I feel like I've heard of de la Cruz before. Arrived. I can't Dorothea remember where. Ill for many weeks. Hmm. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, De La Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They prepared the bell tower and worked the fields, planting crops. Brother De La Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient. We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. Hmm. Nothing here. And is this the last room? It sure seems like it might be. Anything on the desk, surely? Yep. Who the fuck's talking out there? Shut up. Stone faces weep. As Jesus creeps along the Dolores path, too many died. More will still, and more will still. 
and more will still. His light leads the way. Well, that's a little depressing. <laughs> okay. Cool. Full of that. Right, I think we are good to go. Okay, I'll have just had to cut that out briefly because I just had a massive sneeze out of nowhere. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's a whole mural under here. It really is the worst of times when you have a sudden sneeze and you're recording. <laughs> Thankfully, it was at a little downtime bit like this, so it's fine that like, I can just cut that out. But wowee, imagine if it had been mid this cutscene or something. That would have just been feels bad. There are crews. The true cross. Is that what I think it is? I don't know. What are you pointing at? Oh, the, the silver, silver box. box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right, let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. Okay, how about right here? Come on, Lara, you can go faster than this. We'll find a way. Found something? Yeah, Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. Heave ho. Oh shit. Oh, that is cool. That is very cool. I want a secret passage in my house like this. All right, down we go. Looks like a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Wow, such a long way down. <laughs> Took all of three seconds. <laughs> oh. Station two. Jesus falls the first time. Lara's like daintily working her way down and then just There's thud. Description here. Here's Jonah. Ambulate dum lucem habitis. Walk what does that mean? While you have the light. Okay, anything around here? Oh. Oh, okay. Get this in the light to angle it through there. Very nice. That did it. Very nice indeed. Anything else around here? It doesn't seem to be. Okay, onwards. I wouldn't want to be buried in here. My head tossed behind a cross somewhere. Yeah, no, that'd be a pretty bad uh, way to end up. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station 3. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. So it does. <laughs> what would you like me to do about that? Anything? I'll give you a boost. Clap. Hey, it worked. Was there any doubt at this point? <laughs> the light leads this way. Look 
looks like the light activated something. Oh. Laura. <laughs> Are you all right? Almost no, but thankfully You're lucky it was yes. A little rusted. <sighs> this must be station 4. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frescoes. Oh, this music though. There's a woman in this one. <laughs> okay, very very detailed uh in-depth discussion there. Look, someone else got close. He wasn't as lucky. Looks like he's accepting the cross here. Oh, hello. These people look like they were tortured. I don't think this was just a crypt. If he's accepting the cross here, this probably is the one. Shit, never mind. <laughs> As I was saying, definitely not the one. This must be station four. Let's have a look at these frescoes. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> There's a woman in this one. I mean, I guess let's just fucking try him because I've got no idea. <laughs> Other way. I don't think this was just a crypt. Okay. I'll get it. Our survey says. Our survey says yes. Lol, the cross door. Jesus falls the second time. Okay. <laughs> oh man, what's this all leading to? Nice Lara, place. Is that what I think it is? The stations of the cross again. But with mummies. Isn't this sacrilegious? Not necessarily. They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be station six. What's station six called? <laughs> no, not gonna Looks not like gonna a church. Turn. These ones are posed like monks. Uh-huh. Hmm. They're carrying him. They're lifting him. She's wiping his face, I think. So Lopez staged the whole crucifixion of the mummies? Seems sacrilegious. I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. Yes, this is the sect of the Panther. Mm hmm. Jesus nailed to the cross. I think he's taking up the cross. He's carrying the cross. Okay. So. Wait, the light isn't even on this one. Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. Oh, right. We can push it. We push it into the light and then we have to angle it. Okay. I have no idea. Like, what am I? <laughs> Does it tell me? Follow the stations of the cross, but I feel I don't, as far as I know, I have no clue. I don't know, let's just fucking try it. I've got absolutely no idea what one would be the right one. Apparently this is the right one. 
I genuinely have no idea why. <laughs> but cool, now this one has a thing. <laughs> Uh, carrying the cross, I, he was on the cross to the other one and that was right, so maybe, maybe he's on the cross on this one. Ah, survey says. Hooray! I am the smart. Man, this is a fucking elaborate setup. I'm surprised all the mechanisms still work after hundreds and hundreds of years. What the hell happened here? Lopez had his disciple wall him in and then bang. No witnesses. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, what about the temptation? Only the hands of the righteous one may seize destiny from mine. I guess it's you then. Am I? Am I a righteous one? He led us on his goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity. And the people of Paititi. He was totally consumed by it. What if Jonah's the righteous one? Jonah's always been chill and calm. Jonah hasn't gone on any mass murder sprees. Swim to safety, okay? <laughs> you got it, bird. I hope Jonah's alright. <laughs> Wait, where's the box? Am I still carrying it somewhere? I don't see it. I'm gonna assume she's tucked it up her ass like she tucks all her guns and shit. Because there's no way she's just fucking dropped it. Not after all of that. Man, she must be getting low on oxygen right now. This is where the sonic music plays. I used to hate underwater levels in Sonic games. Just because of that fucking music. Tensing me up when I've got five seconds left to live. Hey, yeah, made it. You alright, Jonah? Oh, hey. Where is she? Where's the box? I don't know. I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Andrew! Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> this is it. This is this is this is the climax. 
both here. The box is here. What the fuck's going to happen by the end of this cutscene? Release him, and I will give you the box. Laura, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. Uh, no, it wasn't, I'll give you the box and then you release him. It was, release him first. I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend. But he was obsessed, relentless. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to buy Titi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? <laughs> you can't think it's the same. It is to a nine-year-old girl. I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. Man, the story cut scenes in this game are a cut above all the ones in the previous games. I've got to say, this is fantastic. The threat must be removed. You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara? How many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? <laughs> yes, Jonah, my boy. Oh my fucking god, he's got the box. Oh, what's gonna happen? Don't you fucking dare. I really want to see what this temptation is that the box is supposed to do, because we've held it and now Jonah's held it. And uh, Dominguez has held it, but so far, no one's had any temptation. So is it when you open the box or something? I'm not entirely sure how it's, how it's supposed to work. Oh man, now's not the time for a stealth section. I just want a fucking pace action until we. Is that Rourke running past just now? Yeah. Think we should call him? Hell no. If there's any change in our status, hell no. I hope I get to see it when they take it out of here. That's how you've been. Okay, well that didn't go as well as planned, did it? Okay, this is... Good night, Vienna. Okay. Not gonna lie. Not exactly how I wanted it to go. But, uh, <laughs> we lived and that's all that matters. Thank God for the, uh, assault rifle. That's all I can say. This is Rourke. Jonah Maeva has the box and Lara Croft was last seen in the church. Wait, hang on. Is this the way to go? They just left her alone oh. Turkey. It was oh, damn it. Obviously, there was another way, but I thought, because it was, like, down the middle, I thought that was the way to go, so I thought this was about. a secret. Bugger. You expect to get away? You shouldn't be too hard to spot. You still haven't found her. We're taking casualties. Copy that. Weapons free. Jesus, we need to get to the bottom of this. You bet. I got your back. 
Oh, fuck. This is not going... Not going to plan, really, is it? Okay. <laughs> Jonah, where are you? Definitely not going to plan. Can't they can't see me. Keep your head down. I'm on my way. Man, my kingdo f kingdo? <laughs> my kingdo. My kingdom for an ammo box. Because uh, right now... Oh, wait. Did I just loot a shitload of ammo? I must have looted some. I thought I was pretty much out. Okay, well, that's fine then. Keep calm and carry on. Nope, don't want you. Uh, where are we actually going right now? Ah, over there. Wait, why is the cross glowing? Oh, I can climb it. <laughs> okay. Can't land up there, though. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Right, moving on. I'm going full stealth, as you can see. Priority one, find Lara Croft. You heard the commander. Let's go hunting. Croft, I know you're out there. Really? Is it the pile of bodies I've left in my wake? Is that what gave it away? That's on me. But I'm going to fix that mistake. Now. Not gonna lie, I don't really remember Raw. Oh fuck. Damn it. I didn't I didn't think they'd be able to see me because I was in the fucking hidey place, but I know you're out there. I mean, is there only three of them? No, there's a lot more than that actually. But I'm gonna fix that mistake. Now Hey, where are you? Okay, this is much better. Oh, dead. Bad. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Damn it, you can't. <laughs> you can't uh, just kill him through the fence. Which makes sense. Of course. God. Surprise! This is kind of cool. Sneaking through the corn. This guy, this guy's just asking for it. Shit, he was not asking for it. Oh, they didn't lose me. I thought they lost me. Oh, fuck. went all right <laughs> okay I think I looted a lot of these guys uh, did I get these ones yeah I just got those ones okay pretty sure there's a body somewhere over here that I didn't loot uh, oh there he is nice okay on we go Oh, the volcano's fucking active. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
this is like the most fucking enemies that's been in the game so far. Oh, is it just a straight up shooting section? I think it is. Is that an explosive? It is. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on. Oh, you're in the chopper. How the fuck have you managed that, friend? <laughs> no matter. Just loot all these guys. Is this the way to go, or is this... That's smelling like the way to go. Anything back this side? I don't have enough space for that. Bollocks. Okay, yeah. <gasps> oh, fuck. The volcano. The volcano. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No! He's just been kicked out of a helicopter. He's not great. He has the box. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking? If I was you. Probably. They might not get Go. Go, we got this. You got what, sorry? What what do you got? The volcano's erupting. Oh, okay. Time to go. You can't outrun a fucking mudslide. Are you insane? Oh my god, this is so... I love these sections. These, these are probably my favourite parts of the game. I really love them. Fuck me. Oh fuck, oh fuck! <laughs> go, go, go! Oh Jesus! Oh no! Oh man! This is so epic! Ow! Oh Christ! Oh, what? I pressed jump. Oh, game. I absolutely pressed jump. Okay, take two. Huh. Made it. Very nice, very nice. Oh, fuck! No! Oh, she fell through the floor! Come on. This has suddenly gone from my favourite bit to not my favourite... Oh, really? All the way back here again? Are you fucking insane? She literally fell through the floor. Come on.
It really takes away from these sections if she continually dies through no fault of my own. First time I jumped and she didn't jump. Second time she fell through the fucking floor. Okay. Third time's the charm, I guess. So how the fuck did Jonah survive if we just had to run down the whole mountain to get away from that? I would love to know. Now we're back on our boat. What, and Jonah's, Jonah's just okay? Jonah, please, I need some explanation as to how the fuck you got out of there when you were just, like, winded as all hell from being kicked out a helicopter, whereas we had to run down a mountain. How much longer to pay TT? Almost there. I'm sorry I lost the box. It's not your fault. It's... It's Dominguez. It's Trinity. All the way back, as far as I can remember, it's always been them. I could have had a family. Everything could have been different. We will get the box. And we will stop... That is a lot of confidence for someone who doesn't have the box. <laughs> he can literally remake the world right now. You might want to hurry the fuck up. Oh god, it's the kid. Nice. <laughs> it's haircut Mara. kid. Where, where's the box? Amaru has it. But the death of the sun draws near. We'll get it back before he completes the ritual. Oh, it's a it's a drawn out ritual. Okay. <laughs> this will not be easy. We'll have to adjust the plan. No way. Please, take your time to prepare yourself. We'll gather intelligence and fighters. Thank you. I'll stay here and lend Uchu a hand. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Talk to Etsley. My comrades are going to die. No, nope, that's a side quest. Oh, I can upgrade though. I can't believe how much how much Etsley has grown. Yeah, okay. Three skill points available. Uh sure. Anything that costs one, please do, but I fucking don't give a shit about those. Okay, whatever, we're good. Uh, don't have enough for these. Oh well, yeah, we need that special hide. There's still no way to upgrade the knife, but there's been a few things with the, like a reinforced knife and an ascender. I'm pretty sure we're like at the end of the fucking game right now, like almost, and we still haven't got two of the main things. Hmm. That's a big hmm. All right, kid. After speaking with Etsley, fast travel will be disabled and the story campaign is complete. This is the point of no return. So yeah, we are at the end of the game and there's still two things that we haven't got. Are you ready to take on Kukul Khan? Oh boy, am I. How is the plan? 